Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I have a new Holy Grail tinted sunscreen I cannot wait to show you. I'm wearing it right now. I am not wearing foundation. I am not wearing concealer. And yes, I have a little redness that you can see on my nose, but wait till you see what my skin looks like underneath the sunscreen. to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Michelle. I love all things beauty and lifestyle. I really hope that you will enjoy this video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you go. And if you hit that bell icon, you could be notified every time I upload a new video. So guys, this is what my skin looks like underneath this amazing sunscreen. My skin is a mess right now. I'm going to give you guys a close up. I had a laser treatment done. This is six days post-treatment. You can tell I have a lot of redness. I actually have some wounds on my nose and a few places around my face. I have some dry flaky patches. Luckily, most of it is gone. So I wanted to show you my before skin just so you can see what this looks like underneath. So guys, I am so unbelievably impressed with this sunscreen. And I'm sure it's not going to be surprised that it is by Color Science. This is the Sunforgettable Total Protection Face Shield Flex. By far, this is the best one that I have used. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50 PA plus, 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 plus. This is an all mineral sunscreen. It comes in four shades. It comes in a fair, medium, tan, and deep. Now, I think if you have really light skin, it might be too dark for you. And if you have really dark skin, I think it might be too light for you. I really wish they would just expand the color range for everyone. Their sunscreens are one of the best out there. They are totally worth the money. This is a little bit on the pricey side. You get 1.8 fluid ounce and it retails for $49. But you know me, I always wait for a sale to buy anything. So it makes it totally worth it. I had ran out of my original. I have been using my mat, which is almost empty. I have it right here upside down. I figured I would give this one a try. The coverage is absolutely gorgeous. This covers better than some of my foundations do. When I use this, I don't need a foundation. I can put it on. I could put my makeup on right over it. It has a beautiful finish. I wouldn't say it's matte. I wouldn't say it's glowy. It just has a really nice satin skin look to it. It soaks into your skin. It doesn't leave your skin slimy or greasy. I can put this on my entire face. I can go over my eyes with it. I go up under my eyes. I don't need a concealer. And according to the website, this says that it is a lightweight mineral sunscreen with tinted coverage that immediately evens out your skin tone for a flawless look. Um, yes, it definitely does that. It's hydrating, antioxidant rich, all mineral formula has something called EnviroScreen technology. This is supposed to defend you against UVA, UVB, blue light, pollution, and that combined with the advanced antioxidants and hydrating ingredients, it says that you have long-term skin health. It does say because this has oxide pigments that bloom at your fingertips, which it definitely does, it delivers tone-adapting, buildable coverage with a demi-matte finish. So this is buildable. You could add this in areas that you want. I feel like you really can't put too much of this on because it just soaks right into your skin. And it does say if you are between two shades that they recommend that you go with the lighter shade. I just went with the medium and I think that it's perfect for me. This really surprised me when I poured it out. It comes out white, completely white. I'm gonna insert some footage here just to show you what it looks like. Just to give you a little more details on the sunscreens, I'm going to put a chart up here on the screen so that you can compare all five of them. Looking at this chart, you can see that the Classic has a dewy natural finish. It is good for normal combination skin and dry skin. The Face Shield Matte has a sheer coverage, matte finish, normal combination skin, and oily skin. The Glow has a sheer golden tint, subtle radiant sheen, and it is good for all skin types, normal combination, oily, and dry. The bronze, again, has a subtle radiant sheen and a bronze tint, good for all skin types, normal combination, oily, dry. And the face shield flex says that it has medium color coverage, a demi-matte natural finish that is good for all skin types. This face shield flex, there is nothing like this. I would say out of the lineup, this is the most skin-like. Keep in mind, I have combination skin. I am oily in the T-zone. I do have some dry patches and the rest is pretty much normal. The face shield, which is the original, I love that one too. It just happens to be a little shiny on my face. I don't like to look super, super shiny. When I put it on, I have to put makeup on top of it. 
I need to powder. The matte, I can definitely wear alone. It does not give me close to the coverage that this Flex one does. It gives a decent coverage. It looks really pretty and natural. So if you kind of like that no makeup makeup look, this will work but also so will this one. I wouldn't say it's overly matte. It is very skin-like, just not as much as this one. The glowy definitely has a radiance to it. I am gonna try this, maybe underneath the foundation, see what it looks like, see if it's too radiant. My Goldilocks Holy Grail here is definitely this Flex. It's kind of a happy medium in between the matte version of the Color Science and the original. So you have shiny and matte, and then this one just falls right in between. Amazing coverage, guys. This really impressed me. I'm going to give you guys a close-up look because you saw what my skin looked like before. So take a look at it now. You can barely see any of that redness. I obviously still have some redness on the bridge of my nose. Not enough to really use a concealer. I think this covered up so well. I am so happy with it. I've been using this for quite a while. I don't think I'm gonna go back to any of the others. I'm just gonna continue to use this one. When it's on sale, I will stock up. So if you've really been looking for a great tinted sunscreen with a high SPF, it won't irritate your skin and have some great coverage that you can use in place of a foundation, this is the one. Give it a try. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed at all in this. Color Science's lineup is just phenomenal. I like that they have something for everyone. I do wish their color range could expand a little bit. I know this is self-adjusting, so hopefully it can work on all skin tones. So guys, that is it for today's video. I'm so happy I got to show you my new holy grail. Anything to avoid wearing foundation, I'm in. This is definitely it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch. I appreciate it so much. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video.